as a military brat, I had a bit of an inside scoop as to what military life is all about since both of my parents served. My dad as a commanding warrant officer and my mom as a women's army corps and nurse. And during a time when, well, being black and being considered intelligent and viable was, you know, not on all the same accord, I saw my mom and my dad master whatever they had to do to make a better life for the family. And I also see what a lot of people don't see about the military, but they talk about it, looking at it from an outside point of view. And this is one thing I know that is true. There is a camaraderie with the military family that people just don't understand the culture as much as they think they do, because you have to actually walk that walk and walk in their shoes. So this is to everyone, regardless of your color, who has ever served, and your family too, because your family will recognize every word I'm saying is true, because in some strange way, when you grow up in a military family, you serve the military too. But being a soldier, a true soldier, is not an easy thing to do. So this is for all my true soldiers, because I, in some way, are like you. I am a soldier. But what does that mean? Perhaps it's a role made easier than it seems, but it's not easy to be a soldier. Born to take the heat on repeat, take to the fields and refuse defeat, I shall not lose. Because that's not what soldiers do. Yes, there may be a few unexpected casualties like my mind, my heart, and my sense of peace, which are now forever gone and tainted by the beast, but no one wants to hear about the innocence that's moved on or the inner pain that holds on. No, no one wants to hear about the mushy, emotional baggage that clings on because I'm a soldier. And soldiers don't feel, we just keep it real and we'll kill to secure home. Yes, we are grown to wreck the wrong, conditioned to battle and take injustice on. Freedom is our muse, and we don't lose nor take no mess, because we are soldiers chosen to be the best, annihilate our haters and damage all the rest, restore order to the equation, then salute, saying good riddance and God bless. Then, sweep up afterwards with nothing to see. Scorched earth everywhere. And the only thing left standing will be uh, me, a soldier in the mist on a hill. Mission complete, enemy killed. And then, we are supposed to flip that switch off again. Behave like good little Stepford women and men because society <laughs> doesn't want to deal with the real harsh truth of war. They don't want to hear nothing more than, well, war is war. But I'm so blessed to be back in here where everything is peaceful and beautiful when in reality everything is confusing and crazy. And it's not that I'm lazy, it's just to deal with the insanity so it won't phase me. I must take this pill that's got me acting spacey. My memory is starting to evade me, and the meds are trying to persuade me that I'm feeling all loving and warm and dysfunctional and drugged inside. Reality and surreality collide, and I am expected to spend the rest of my life high, seeing my own existence literally pass me by as I see my fellow soldiers die, and I see my loved ones start to cry because they don't understand that I'm not the same woman and man that I used to be. And it seems no one knows who I am anymore, including me. And I'm just saying truthfully, there's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there saying PTSD my ass. This is me day to day and wide awake living in a world that's fake and telling me I'm the crazy one. I am the crazy one for doing my job. Right? And I must be crazy because it's not easy to be a soldier loved and hated at the same time 
and still committed to serving. Damn, that is crazy. Even when you find out that the people you are serving are the main ones that are trying to take you out too. Just what is it that we're supposed to do? But we just do what we're trained to do. Be a soldier and serve. Because that's what real soldiers do. What no one else will. Just know, family. I see you. I see you. Salute. You are amazing. Still.